you see that there is a there are two tanks one on the left to you and one on the right of you the one on the right of you has a bunch of the panes of glass are broken and so all the water kind of has clearly kind of flooded just everything down here okay um, the other tank is full of water um if you guys want to roll uh, awareness checks real quick oh oh god i got a two oh, i'm the most unaware stuff. cataloger that has ever <laughs> existed okay i got 13 13 i rolled a six wow i also rolled a six plus seven okay so 13 13 was the best so um Paws and Gude, you guys, well, everybody notices that the walls are covered in murals with, like, sea life and things like that. Um, you know, octopi, alligators, kelp, coral reefs. Some of the things are clearly freshwater fish. Some of them are clearly sea fish. You know, clearly the painter didn't care. That's fine. Um, <laughs> now, what, uh, and you guys notice that kind of covered in some, like, kelpy stuff, are kind of a few mounds um and there's one of those over here which is currently red but i will make it kelpier kelp mounds so kelp mounds here and here and there's one here now good and pause um you notice that there's kind of subtle uh kind of ratcheting noises coming from the mounds um, and they're like, so it's like a, like a hill, like a kelp hill. Yeah. Kind of like a, a little kelp hill about, I'd say 18 inches high and maybe, uh, six feet long. And they're in water. Uh, yeah, they're this, the, uh, one tank is full <coughs> and that tank, the glass walls are like four feet high and the other tank, the walls are also four feet high, but they are broken, uh, here. Whoops. Let me give that some definition. Can you... So, wait. There, we're separated from these mounds by glass walls. Yeah, except for the fact that uh, this one is... On this side, is kind of broken right here. So, are they up above us where we can see underneath them? Or are they, like, on our eye level? They're they're on your eye level. I see. Here we go. So, and there's I kind can make of little waves. glass here. I could, like, can put a we, wave over one. But, wait. So, can I ask a question? Yes. Is... Is everything that's in this world, like, realistic? Or, like, I have not I have detect magic. Should I, run, should I, like, is that part of my trap? Like, I should just, when I walk into a room, look for traps and detect magic every time? If, if you'd like to try and detect magic, you can. And what does the team think? Go for it. Morgan? Yeah, you're magical. Come on. Yeah, do it. Do it. Okay. All right. So let's do that then, Joe. Okay. Roll a d20. Okay. Joe's like, this is a waste of time, but he doesn't want to say anything. <laughs> um, I rolled a super high two. Oh. Oh, my so God. We're used, okay. We're used yeah. To, um, I'm the most useless You detect team member. that Good is a water mage. <laughs> <laughs> he is literally in your ear saying, hey, you know I'm a water mage. <laughs> Good can also detect magic as a mage, in a, as a trivial thing. So, Good, would you like to roll a d20 to detect magic? Sure. I got a 10. Okay. Um, you detect some sort of magical presence. Uh, if we say the top of the screen is north, uh, you detect a some sort of weak or faint magical presence uh, not only next to you and underneath you in Ori, but also kind of south uh, east of you somewhere out in the distance. You can't really pinpoint it, though. So not in the room, though? Not in the room. The only, the only magical presence in the room is you and laughably Aurelian. <laughs> kind of. Pause or Morgan, do you have any spells or like any weapons you could shoot at it? I mean, I the can walls. shoot a revolver. I don't know if we really want to enter it though. <laughs> just shoot I, I, you I don't know what it is. Just shoot it. It. How weak is the wall? Okay, one of the kelp hills starts kind of rotating a little bit toward oh the break God. in the glass. Oh, that's could, smart. Can we I run? Can we water. just run? I'm a water mage. I could like wait. Wait, it. how much water is behind the wall though? Are we going to drown if that breaks? N well, uh, no, I can make us all have gills. We'll be fine. Okay, so um, <laughs> why did you do that before the kelp destroys so, the so wall? So this ground? kelp mound here continues toward the wall. What is misdirection? I, I want to climb it out of the broken glass area. Yeah. Yes. I want misdirection. Roll misdirection, and it will go away. What? What? 
Which I've misdirection, won't it? Will that misguide it somewhere else? Misdirection. I. Is that a? That's a spell, right? Yeah. Can, and can, can you I write down me? what it does? Is that in the mind school? I think. Yeah. Let me pull it up real quick. Misdirection. Of water. The caster summons a bunch of water to push people back. Creatures oh, do call that. Do that's that. what I'm saying. Okay, good. Just roll. Just roll. What did you get? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to okay, roll. Okay, good. Go ahead and roll knowledge magic. And while Good is beginning to cast, this thing has gotten halfway out of the glass here and starts. <laughs> it kind of the the kelp starts kind of coming off, and you can see that it's a a poorly wired animatronic alligator that bizarrely has human teeth, feet, and Ugh. hands. Oh. Oh God, Joe, that's gross. Can I? Can we? I have a short sword. Can I just beat it to death? Okay, so it everybody, might, go it, ahead, it, and uh, we're gonna have everybody roll initiative at this point. Okay. Is that D twenty? Yeah, D twenty, and add the init stat. Init. I have a nineteen. Okay. Oh, you suck. Wait, where is that? Is that the int? Yes. Okay. So I rolled a four and I have a three modifier. So that no, 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 not int, in it. It's uh, I N I T. It's on your on the front side of your character sheet, underneath. Yeah. Oh, mine zero. Fantastic. Oh, I just have a fifteen. Then okay. I have I have thirteen. I have a four. <laughs> okay, good. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, so <laughs> worst roller ever. Morgan, you get to go first, um, followed by. Wait, yeah. Let me see. let me rearrange my listing of your rolls. P G. Did I fail at casting a wave of water? Um, Dude, somebody in the chat said he used your Jesus powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and consider uh, Good's wave of water to be a uh, a sneak, or or to be what caused the um, the attack. The you okay? You roll initiative when you start a fight. So I'm gonna consider okay. Good's attack to be essentially an ambush. So he'll roll his wave of water. And then after that, it'll we'll begin normal um, initiative. Okay. Okay. So what do I roll for? Uh, is that D twenty again? Yeah, D twenty and add knowledge magic. Okay. Uh, fuck! I rolled a two <laughs> plus five. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Seven. You you. Did you let Ari roll for you there? Your your uh, your attack <laughs> fails. Um, yep. So Aurelian, in a sudden flash of um, cataloger awareness and genius. You notice yeah. a glint on one of the alligator's ring fingers. Okay. Okay, and it is Morgan's turn. Okay. Um, I want to shoot it. Okay. <laughs> and so go ahead and roll a d20 against its AC. All right. I rolled a 15, and my AC is... Okay, no, no against its AC. So you just against... need to tell me what you rolled. So. Okay, 15. 15, and did you add your um, base attack modifier? Um... My base attack modifier is one, so I have a 16. Okay, so you connect. Uh, and what are you hitting it with? A uh, 357 revolver. Okay, so go ahead and give me... Now you roll the damage on that. Okay. Which is a d10? Yes. Uh, or whatever uh, it says on your sheet. I don't have all that before me. Oh, right. Uh, 2d6. Okay, so roll 2d6. Okay. And that would be a nine. Okay. So you go ahead and just blow the animatronic head off of this thing. Uh, human teeth go everywhere, and it kind of whirs and sparks a little bit, and then goes limp. Um, whoa, sorry, I have... So we killed it? You killed that one. Oh, nice job, Morgan. Hold on, i got to zoom back in. My Ill Adobe Illustrator's freaking out at me. Morgan's such a badass with a gun. Okay, <laughs> so... I'm just an expert swordsman. So this one. And pause is just standing there being hulky. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, whoops. Uh, so this one is now essentially headless. And I'm just going to break that into two little pieces. So that one's down. Uh, mm. This other one kind of swims over here and gets over the top of the tank. Oh and it's going to go ahead oh. and try to snap <gasps> at Goud. Oh my God! Save no, 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 me! No, no. Uh, it, I, wanna, I have a short it, sword. I want to rolled hit it. a nine against Good's AC. What? What's your AC, Good? Oh, not enough. Um, fourteen. Okay, it it only rolled a nine in its attack. Oh. So clearly, Aurelian's short sword was effective at distracting it, at least. <laughs> um, so now we've got 
pause. Uh, it's your move. And you How guys far are... away is it from us? I want to know if pause is rusty. Because he's a robot in the water. No, he's been waterproofed. Actually, let me <laughs> okay, also good. real quickly go ahead and make the water translucent so that way uh, you guys can see the grid better. I, I didn't think of that when I... There we go. Whoa, that's way too translucent. Okay, there we are. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and say Good is here, Aurelian is here. Let's get everybody on the grid. Morgan was down here, and Pause, you are here. So... Is it further than 30 feet away from us? Because I, I can throw a javelin at it. Oh, uh, the one uh, the one down here is like 40 feet away at this point. But the one really close to you is only really close to you. You know what? I'll use my sickle against it. Okay. So go ahead and roll a d20. Uh, add your base attack modifier to see if you can. Oh, my God. I don't even want to. Shut up. I rolled a one, and I have a okay. one base attack modifier, so two. Okay, well, when you roll a one in our game, that's considered a hilarious success. So <laughs> you manage to embed your sickle firmly in the skull of this alligator-robot-human hybrid, and you are... Uh, go ahead and uh, roll damage for me real quick. I'm gonna D20? Yeah, uh, no, uh, what is your sickle? It should say damage in the... Uh, oh, should say 1d6 like, times 3. That's... Oh, shouldn't be... To roll a d6? It shouldn't say times 3. The critical might be times Or plus 3, sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, I apparently get Yeah, so go ahead and roll a d6. Mixed up. So 3 plus 3, so 6. Okay, and so you manage to embed your sickle cleanly into the, into the thing's skull, but uh, it just kind of bites down, and its gears kind of wrap themselves around the sickle a little bit. So when you try to pull the sickle back out, you manage to slam the thing over your head and shatter this glass pane here. <gasps> and so the thing is now lying on its back, twitching a little bit, but it's not really moving anymore. But the broken glass area is now much wider Allowing it, allowing this alligator here a much cleaner uh, avenue of attack on you. So, mm -hmm. okay, so this okay. is more Ari. So, okay, back. so next up is uh, Aurelian. Well, yeah, Aurelian. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. What do I need to do? Roll my d20. Well, what do you want to do? Um, there's one we have to kill still, right? Yeah, I it's have over a, here. I have a short bow. Okay. So I want to I wanna kill it with my short bow. Go ahead and roll to attack. Roll the d20 and add your base attack modifier. Um, I have a, is a zero. Okay. So, <laughs> All of my modifiers are zero, except for, like, my intelligence. Well, that's, I'm, that's fine. Just roll. I got a 14. Okay. You connect and go ahead and roll for damage. Roll the d20 again. No, it should say under your weapon what the damage is. Which should 1d6. Be a, yeah, so go ahead and roll 1d6. Okay. I got five. Five. Okay. So you do yeah. five damage. Um, the alligator is kind of, um, you can tell that it's- He's just pissed at this point. Sparks are coming out of him more than they were. So it's now this alligator's turn, and he's just okay. going to straight up bum rush uh, <laughs> through here and try and snap at paws. So- What? He rolled an 11. Oh, at least he didn't get the rabbit. So that's okay. He rolled an 11 against your AC pause. What's your AC? 15. Oh, well then it is not a very effective attack. It just <laughs> it, it just kind of bounces off of your uh, metal parts and then goes like, well, you know, like in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. So, yes. Now we are back to Morgan. Can I just reach over with my, my great sword right here? Mm-hmm. Um, uh... You are an expert swordsman. I am. Uh, damage is 2d6 plus 7. I rolled a 9. Well, um, you have to roll so... on your AC first. Oh, sorry. Uh, or you have to roll D20? against its AC. Yeah, roll a d20 to see if you connect. Okay. Oh, nope. I got a 2. Okay, yeah, so the alligator recoils before you can <laughs> actually hit it. Uh, so next up is pause. Attack it? Skip. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I skipped good. Sorry, dude. Yeah, it's because you cool went, uh, rabbit. you, yeah, because you had the ambush I messed up. Yeah. Well, not only that, he's small and he's easy to look over. Okay. 
And, uh, Gude, you notice that the, um, broken glass area here, like, there's still a lot of bits of, or large shards of broken glass that are embedded in the frame of the, um, uh, of the tank. Well, couldn't I use, like, magic hand to, uh, make them go towards, or there's some spell I have to be able to use to make the glass go towards, uh, the, the alligator, right? Well, if you can't bring the Muhammad to the mountain, you bring the mountain to Muhammad. Oh, Okay. All right. So, what about a wave then? I guess I can try it on the wave. Yeah, you could you could use a wave to knock the alligator into the glass if you wanted. All right. Let's let's try that. Go ahead and what roll the knowledge I... magic. I got you, thing eye rabbit. <laughs> I'm holding uh, you. Oh, I rolled another two. That's a f that plus a five, failure. so a seven. Oh, no, sorry. I suck your with these plus waves. Plus five is, but your plus five is good though. If you, I have zero. <laughs> if, uh... <laughs> okay, so we are back at um, pause now. Sorry. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm just going to throw my javelin this time. I'm, I'm too afraid of this one. Okay. Even though he's tiny. Okay. So roll d20, six. Oh, man. Yeah, that is not going to connect. Your, your javelin just kind of fly. Go, it goes, like, right over him, and it hits one of the pieces of glass. And Okay, so go ahead and roll another d20 real quick. Pause. Nine. Oh, man. So uh, one of the pieces of glass falls and bounces harmlessly off of the uh, alligator's skin. So we are at Aurelian. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm, I want to stab it with my short sword. Okay. So right? go ahead and what roll is, a detail. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. How do I know? Because I have a whip, a short bow, and a sword. Uh-huh. And the damage on all of them is the same, but... The critical on the short sword is higher, so that's what I want. Yeah. Does it matter? At this point, does it matter? It, it, it You probably want to use just the short sword because you're right Okay, here. I'll just Wait. do the short sword. Oh, so roll the d20, right? Yes. Okay. Guess what I rolled. What did you roll? <laughs> A two. Okay, so you guys <laughs> are just the worst at hitting alligators ever. You are just whiffing all yeah, over the Yeah, there are other numbers on this dice of... <laughs> terrible roller <laughs> okay so uh the alligator is gonna go ahead and snap at morgan and oh, i'm sorry morgan let me go ahead and roll for that oops hold on sorry do you have leather do you have armor on morgan oh and the I alligator do. rolls a one so <gasps> the alligator lunges at morgan who jumps back with her sword extended the alligator just goes straight up like a sword swallower and then runs out of momentum and falls to the ground, slicing the top of its head open. Sweet. <laughs> so all, you are- You killed it! My bad luck killed it! <laughs> you are now out of initiative, uh, which means the, the battle is officially over. Um, now, Ori, you might remember that you noticed something on one of the uh, robot alligators. Yeah, the ring. Uh Okay, so does everybody want to uh -huh. give me, uh, do you guys want to give me awareness checks real quick? Awareness checks? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I roll um, again? No. No! I got a one. Okay. Me too. Wow. You did? Yeah. Oh, wait, the one is a success, though, right, Joe? Yeah, yeah, so this is a hilarious success. So you guys realize that, not o that, that these robots, not only do they have human hands and feet connected to them, and you should take the three rings off of three of the hands as proof of identity, but you realize that they have really good dental records now, and so you should probably <laughs> take the teeth out as well. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not touching the teeth. I'll let the robot do that. Fine. Okay. Do so pause. You no can't do it because he's her rabbit. So pause now has a pocket full of teeth. <laughs> Maybe it's currency somewhere down the line. You don't know that. I'm I'm fine with that. Okay. So oh this is good because you guys have found three of the members of one of the teams. Okay. Oh. Oh, the jewelry we were looking for. Good. Oh. Yes. So we've succeeded at some point. At some point. Yes. Now, you guys okay. are supposed to find out what the purpose of this lab is, or what they were, okay. what the research that was being done here was. Although you probably have some guesses at this point. Um, Do? Turning make... humans into animatronic robots. Oh, God. Cyborg. Yeah. Those are all okay. guesses. So, uh, <laughs> do you, do you want to continue? Or, or what Let's do you walk. 